Ye kum na sebe de fio no mwanam na sebe jani di ma adesia e wo e futu abato empesua eso. Eye ura alexander afenyo markings. Na wakasa ena wache mse. E sedi e dom kuma e yo munye mebino. E nya dia sebi e tre ye kura nini na efa uraken ufori ata e hon. Wase dom kuma no. Wamu jina gana ma mnafi ape mahankuno e de kuru mienu e de no. Nefa e ye e de wache mienu no e hon. Ena e di itua na mwono si debi. E ni kwa so mu jina saa e mra no eso kra na ye hwe ora ofori ata wo nso e gana ni e de hye na emu msikasem e na wo hwe so e de amomai gana keke moving the motion and leading evidence mr speaker it must be emphasized that it is one thing moving the motion and another thing leading evidence and therefore it is my contention that at this stage where he has moved this motion I hold a preliminary objection. Which preliminary objection would you leave? I would want to put across before the evidence is laid. Mr. Speaker, in leading evidence, Mr. Speaker, in leading evidence, it's to me that for the optics and for the politics of which he intends to achieve, he would have led Ghanaians into believing that this, this, Supposed evidence which is held by him, which the respondent has not had the opportunity to peruse, will be carried. Mr. Speaker, therefore, it is my contention that please grant me leave to raise a preliminary objection in terms of the motion paper and the grounds of say, so that, Mr. Speaker, if you make a determination in my favor, perhaps certain consequential orders could be made. Mr. Speaker, because I did say a week ago that the grounds of the motion are merely ex cathedral. They are not based on reason, fact, or in any law. What you have are ex cathedral matters. Oforiata has mismanaged the Ghanaian economy and therefore incompetent and not fit for purpose to continue to hold himself as Minister responsible for finance. And therefore, Mr. Speaker, I'm inviting my colleagues opposite the aisle to join us. Let your vote count. In bidding, in bidding him farewell and goodbye to save this economy, to save businesses, to save savings and investments. Mr. Speaker, I was on a crate of egg. A crate of egg was sold for 12 cities in now 40 cities. A bag of pure water we sold for 1.5 Ghana cities is now 10 cities. Cement we sold for 18 Ghana cities is now 95 Ghana cities. Soya beans, soya beans we sold for 150 Ghana cities is now 500 Ghana cities. Disclosure is an integral part of any civil or criminal jurisprudence. And even in recent case, Mr. Speaker, the Supreme Court of our land has ruled that prior to criminal trial, every document that the prosecution, Mr. Speaker, will rely on must be made available to the accused. Mr. Speaker, how do we proceed to debate this motion when even as members of parliament who are expected to vote upon this motion do not have copies of the evidence upon which these members rely? We are here. We are expected to vote. Mr. Speaker, this is not political talk as usual. This is not the usual political rhetoric. This is about the reputation of a Ghanaian citizen serving his country. This is about a fellow politician who is serving his country as a finance minister who members of this house are alleging that he's committed certain infractions, committed certain offenses, and they have documents with them, and they expect that merely by merely raising the issue, we should trust their judgment enough, rely on them, vote without having evidence, without having ability to peruse that which they rely on.